All right, guys, here's a partial uh, bankroll hunt. Since we had uh, all those customer rolls in our bank box bag, we decided to do these different. It might not even be a video, depending on fines. I know that quarters can be pretty tough, but I'm hopeful with these 2020 and 2019 enders, we'll probably find something. So I'll be back with my first find. short bank stamp we've got a W that's one that I don't have San Antonio pretty stoked man there's three searches in a row that I've gotten W's and I've still got I mean there's a lot of new coins in here you can see stacking them up I'm looking to save some of the better ones I'm going to go through and keep the best of the best, but uh, stoked to get a W. All right, I'll be back with another phone. Roll 12. We've got another W. And this one's American Samoa. Nice. Let's get back and find some more. Roll 19. Look at that beauty. Another W. And you wouldn't believe it. Another variety. We've got the American Memorial. That's four W's. Four different W's in this hunt. How awesome is that? Alrighty, we'll get back to the hunt. Roll 24. It's gonna pay us again. And it is another Rockefeller. And I've got a couple more here that I figured we just do live with you. Let's see if we can stir up another W. Nope, that's a P. This one's facing forward. It's also a P. As you can see, I've gotten a couple Rockefellers. <laughs> But that's the second Rockefeller W. All right, I'll get back to the hunt and check back with you guys when I find something. All right, you guys, our bank roll, bank wrap rolls are done. Look at all those pre-19s and 20s. I picked them out. There was a, just a boatload of Rockefellers in there. Those are, each of those stacks are five, so it's two complete rolls and just shy of another complete roll. So almost three rolls of Rockefellers. Uh, I'm gonna dig through those and pull out the, the best ones I can and stick them aside just for future. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with, we've got the America Samoa, we've got um, the Salt Bay, we've got San Antonio and uh, Weir Farm. <clears throat> so we're going to kind of cherry pick through those, take the best of the bunch. What else we found is we found four 2009s of three different varieties. I found all of the 2010s, and those have been hard to come by. So I, I know I've got some holes in my books uh, for the 2010. Um, so I'm going to stick them in there. And I'm going to stick them aside because uh, both 10, uh, 11, and part of 12 are a little bit lower mintage. So I don't find them. I mean, I just started hunting quarters. So um, I'm going to save these guys. I know that this, this guy here, this 2012, I didn't have that until last week. I only found two uh, bicentennials. Seems kind of uh, small, but I think those guys took up all the space. And I'm not going to complain. I did find one brown Denali. So I don't know if... I don't know if this is missing a clad layer because it's brown all the way to the edge. It's brown on the other side. It's not painted. So I don't know if it's missing a clad layer or what. 
I'm going to stick it aside. Leave me a comment if you know what this is. I, I know I've seen them with the nickels and things like that, but when I do that, um, they tend to have like some scrapes where you still see silver. This one is just straight up brown. It's all the way on the edge. Doesn't look painted. Just odd. Caught my eye. And then the stars of the show, we got four W's. And from, or sorry, five W's from four different mints. We got the American Memorial, San Antonio, America Samoa. I labeled this one Marsh Billings, but I think most people call them Rockefellers. So um, they, are, they are the same, but five W's and a little bit less than a box. I'll take that all day long, man. I'll take it. And to have some nice gems to pick through to set aside, great hunt. So fill me in on my other video. Let me know what I should do with that collection dump of the other, the 80s. It just confuses me. I don't know why someone would put those aside and mark it saved if they weren't of some value, but... In this hunt, I had a lot of 70s, 80s, 60s. I tossed them all back. They weren't silver. They didn't have any airs. They weren't in great shape. And none of those were in fabulous shape either. Maybe a little bit better than average, but um, super, certainly not amazing. So let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. Make sure to give me a like. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next hunt.